Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about the brand new VirtualBox 7.2, which just dropped with some exciting features and improvements, especially for Linux users. Oracle has officially released VirtualBox 7.2, the latest stable version of their open source, free, and cross platform virtualization software. It works across Linux, Solaris, macOS, and Windows, and this update brings some serious upgrades. For Linux users, 7.2 now includes initial support for the upcoming Linux kernel 6.17 and 6.16, both for hosts and guests. There's also improved guest edition support for Oracle Linux 10 and ArchShell 10, plus better handling of the VBox video kernel module in the init script. One big highlight, Video decoding acceleration for Linux hosts is now enabled when you have the 3D option active in settings. This means smoother video playback inside your virtual machines. They've also fixed the swapped scan codes for pause and numlock keys when using XKB translation and resolved an issue where VBox client would fail to start on really old Linux kernels. We're talking 2.6 or earlier. Moving on to the graphical interface. Preferences and settings pages have been polished. Keyboard LED handling in the soft keyboard is improved. And accessibility is better thanks to moving global and VM tools out of hamburger menus and into the taskbar and tabs. For ARM virtual machines, the IO APIC option has been removed. But you now get a checkbox to make shared folders available to all VMs. Other technical upgrades include open sourced NVMe storage controller emulation, better DNS server handling explicit unattended installation support for Oracle Linux 10, support for x84 version 3 instruction set extensions, including AVX and AVX2 for newer CPUs. VirtualBox 7.2 also introduces ARM virtualization of Windows 11 systems, experimental 3D acceleration via DXMT on Mac OS, better CPU feature reporting when using Windows Hyper-V, and improved nested virtualization on Intel CPUs. And of course, tons of bug fixes for a smoother, more stable experience. If you want to check out the full change log or grab the installer, it's available as a universal binary for pretty much any Linux distribution from the official VirtualBox website. So what do you think about the new uh, VirtualBox 7.2 features? Are you upgrading right away or waiting it out? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates.